We're gonna need to fight tonight to win. Come on, let's do this! on 2K Sports. The Morgan State Bears go up against the Maryland Baltimore County Troopers. We've got a great matchup for you today. Hi there, everyone. We're here at RAC Arena. Alongside Bill Raffrey, this is Bill Lundquist. Tommy Bill's being for the school. Give us your take, Bill. This game features a great matchup at the point guard position. Peter is a fantastic player. I love his offensive awareness. He knows how to manipulate defenders and really gets in their heads. Curtis can also hold his own at the point. This guy is a defensive powerhouse. This is the kind of guy you just love to have on your team. They're both ready to go. We'll see which of the... The Bears get the tip and we're underway. Dishes it to the perimeter. Kata passes cross court. Roger hands it off. Orfini gets called for the that's reach and that's his first foul, foul of the game. First it takes foul. quick hands to get the theft and he was too slow that time. Switch, baby, switch. Roger inbounds the ball. Wilson brings the first Wilson. bucket of the game. Nice job to put those first few points on the board. Game on, Vern. Logie catches it on the perimeter. But he must have been feeling it. Right side. Takes it in. The layout good by Kato. Sweetness. They gave him a look and paid for it. Picked off by Rodgers. He was trying to thread the needle. There just wasn't enough space for that pass. First range shot missed by Curtis. Flip up and in on that last layup. He gets up close and personal and closes the deal. Leaves no room for anybody, no room for anybody to do anything about it. Misfired on that last three by Montplacier. Reynolds has it. Top of the key. Curtis. Swings it to the outside. Rogers dumps it off. Right side dumps it to the inside. Kowalza goes up, off the glass and out. Missy Lamps are going to get him a quick trip to the bench. Last play was cast in by Peters. Nice range. If the D doesn't bring a little more pressure, he could heat up from out there. Robs it to the baseline. Takes it up. Reeled in by Orfini. That's just a fluke. He's such a strong finisher ordinarily. Peter to the rim. Banks it off the glass of here. What a nice soft touch. Smooth as silver. Right around eight minutes left in the half. Curtis gets it outside. Dumps it to the middle. Kowalza backs down. Roger. Peter is tagged with the reach. That's, that's his first foul. McGrain makes his first appearance. Second team foul. Substitution on the court. Gets it. Upright. Pushes it up. They're in the lead thanks to the basket by Reynolds. It's shameful to give any guy on the floor that good a look. They got burned. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Bonnie Bernstein. Yes, Just before the game, I talked to Coach Monroe of the Retrievers, and he told me the biggest concern tonight is the other team's speed. He said, we know what we're up against, and so there aren't any excuses. If we don't hustle back on D every time out, they'll be dropping layups on us the entire game. Thanks, Bonnie. Logie beats it. Cross court. Stolen by Reynolds. Curtis, the finisher, flips it in for two. From the break and tip. Orfini inbounds the ball. Pokes free, and it's scooped up by McGrain. This layup is dropped in by Curtis. What a pass. That's good team basketball, Vern. 
Throws it up. About 14 feet out. Nailed by Loco. Look at that shot. As soon as he turned around, he was ready to fire. To the middle. Roger. To the bucket. Buries it. Roger. Let's have another look at that with the Power Bar Triple Threat Replay. Terrific play. There's some fancy footwork right there. And it's a four-point game. They're going to double-team him. Knocks it loose. And it's scooped up by Kato. That's not usually the spot on the floor where you see the double team, but it worked there. Tosses it up. Couldn't get the shot, but he was fouled and gets a trip to the line. He'll take the foul. That defender clearly got some contact as he tried to make the shot. Yep, that's an open and shut case. He got hit. He makes the first. Or Feeney will come out of the game because of foul trouble. And he splits the free throws. Dishes it to the baseline. Peters releases from 16 feet. Misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. First team foul. He can't get the first. Oh, no, Vern. He's the guy they want up there in a situation, but he couldn't get it done. Those were absolutely essential. Hey, Tom. Beyond the arc. Roger grabs the rebound inside. The last bucket down low was dropped in. Tough bucket. I love Maryland BC will take its first timeout. The Bears are making a few lineup changes. DC is really struggling to close down the middle. Bonnie has something for us. Bonnie? was just talking to his coaches about that very issue. He wants his players to collapse their defense in the paint and prevent the entry pass. Way too many points inside right now, Vern. Thanks, Bonnie. That D's a real puzzle. The D just disappeared. Somebody wake up the D. They just made an average shooter look really good. Stolen away by Kowalza. Takes it in. Led him nicely with the dish, and it's laid in by Kato. No defense to speak of there. Maybe they're saving their energy for the offensive end. Peters goes in. The air ball sailed out of bounds by Peters. The Bears looking to extend their run. Passes it to the outside. The steal by Davison. Great anticipation and quick hand. It's a deuce the other way if you don't protect the basketball. Kowalza inbounds the ball. Ten points separating the teams. Reynolds gets it out left. Passes outside. Loki gets the reach-in call, and that's his first that's foul of the game. First, first that was a pretty blatant reach-in, Bill. Four, the ref couldn't foul. miss it. And he didn't. I'm all for in-your-face, D, but play smart and don't step over the line. Riddle goes up. Davison corrals the miss inside. The Retrievers can cut it to single digits. Fires from the right block. It's missed by Loji. The steal. 
Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Just over four minutes left in the half. Has it. Outright. Misfire on the three by Reynolds. Oh, he was wide open, Vern. He has to knock that shot down. Peter releases. Brings it from the paint. Morgan State will take its first timeout. Timeout on the floor. The retreat will make some mass substitutions here. And it's a six-point game. Curtis swings it to the perimeter. To the middle. Bounces it to the outside. Mobley. Kowalski pulls it in. Flip up and in on that last layup. Gotta love. Keeler inbounds the ball. Dishes to the outside. down by Rogers. The Bears with a chance for a double-digit lead. Mobile has it down low. Last basket was good. Gets it to go with the soft kiss. Picked off. Down low. Backs down. Kowalza. Rogers calls it in. Great offensive rebound. He worked so hard to establish position. The close-range shot missed by Kowalza. Gets it. Right wing. Puts it up. Davison gets the offensive rebound. Keeler kicks it out to the outside. Outside. Puts it up. Collected inside by Montplacier. Hit it, not fouled, and he'll have a shot at the three-point point. That's a big work to absorb the contact, hit in the air, and hit the shot. Pretty, Vern. He can't complete the three-point play. Keeler releases. It's good. Nice Keeler. offensive rebound. I think these fans are getting excited, Burn. They're making some noise now. Skips it to the outside. Roger. Beats it to the perimeter. Mobley on the money. You have to keep your head. The Retrievers all timeout. The Bears. We'll bring so a few more starters back on the court. It's a nine-point spread. Two minutes remaining. it off. Pep gets it outside. Passes. High post. Montplacier catches it on the perimeter. Behind the arc. Pep grabs the rebound. Hit it. Not fouled. And he'll have a shot at the three-point cross. Oh, look at the physicality. Powered through the contact and hit. Can't complete the three-point play. 117 left in the first half. Curry passes for a side. Perimeter shoots. Couldn't 
make it a double-digit lead on the miss by Keita. And it's a seven-point game. He crossed the air. Grab that rebound with his back that's high, using a little intimidation. That last three-pointer was missed by Taft. Dishes to the wing. Mobley takes the three. Missed it. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go, he isn't afraid to go after it. That last three-pointer was missed by Taft. 36 seconds left in the first half. Gets called for the reach, and that's his first that's foul. His first, if you're first going to go for the steal like that, you've got to be careful with your Team hands. Switch, switch. Riddle inbounds the ball. Riddle throws it away out of bounds, and that will be a turnover. Oh, that was not a good look. It wasn't about the defensive pressure either. He just fired it off target. A seven-point spread. Canate snatches the offensive rebound. That last shot was off to the level. Tries again. Rattled around and dropped in by Tap. Hoiberg, defense like that can make a player look unstoppable. Feeds it to the perimeter. The three ball is good by Reynolds. And we're headed to halftime. With the score, 35 to 27. Now it's time to bring you our power bar play of the half, Bill. Curtis has been lighting it up for and he's got to be a choice. He's put the offensive weight of his team squarely on his shoulders, but it hasn't been too heavy for him at all. He is a scoring machine. Thanks a lot, Bill. And that's our power bar player of the half. We're ready to begin the second half. Home plus a year. Inbounds it to start the second half. Peters gets it outside. The last long range three is off the mark. Let's send it down to Barney Bernstein. During halftime, I talked with the head coach of the Bears. And he said he was glad to get a solid first half effort out of his players. And he said, We've done such a great job sticking like glue to their ball handlers. And the result has been a bunch of turnovers for us. I love the hustle I saw from my players in the first half, he said. And I'd like to see that kind of part even more in the second. Thanks, Bonnie. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over-anxious. That last week then was missed by Peter. The Bears turn this one over out of bounds. There's no excuse for throwing the ball away. Empty possessions like that will kill you. Bounce pass. Plus score. Peter, the quick shot. They got just enough pressure on him to make him alter his shot and force the miss. To the bucket. Great finish by Keita. That's... Right around nine minutes left in the second half. Davison. From the paint. Gets the shooter's roll off the front of the rim. I love the way they're working the ball in tight. It's all about getting easy hoops. Gets called for the reach, and that's his first foul. If first you're going to go for the steal like that, you've got to be careful with your hands. Roger inbounds the ball. Catches it. Top of the key. Intercepted by Logie, and that'll be his second steal of the contest. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. Logie bounces it to the right. Mompasiel grabs the rebound inside. Kowalza with the denial, and it's still a double-digit ball game. Keita through the bucket, and here's the State Farm drive of the game. This guy is fun to watch, Vern. He can really fill it up.
Texas, Maryland, BC. Calls time out. One plus a year will come off the floor. On the court. Right around eight minutes left in the second half. To the elbow. To the rack. Rebounded inside by Curtis. Ooh, it looked like he was going to have an easy finish. Tough break right there, Vern. That last basket was nailed by Reynolds. Logie from deep. Davison grabs the rebound with the shot. No good from six feet out. He didn't stop the release. You're right. Just a little, but it cost him there. Passes to the right side from 12 feet away. Rebounded by Rogers. That's his ninth rebound thus far. Curtis. The last layup, no good. Missy layups are going to get him a quick trip to the bench, Fern. Peter hands it off. By yourself, by yourself. Davison puts up a three. Kowalza grabs the rebound. The Bears. Really it up. They're on a 10 to 2 run. Nice shot from the low block by Reynolds. It looks like they're ready to pick up the pace, Fern. They got right into the offense on that trip. Corrals it, corrals it, and that's his eighth rebound of the contest. They gave him every opportunity. That's because they'd rather it be in his hands than one of their stars. That last dunk was slammed down by Reynolds. The Retrievers have got a lot of ground to make up. Beyond the arc. Hit the left iron, but missed by Peters. Maryland, B.C. has struggled with their three-point shooting, and Bonnie has a report from their bench. Coach Monroe just gave his team a speech about having a short memory. The last miss? Forget about it, he said. Work hard to get open, keep firing, and the shots will eventually fall. All right, Bonnie. The Retrievers will try to put a stop to this one. Take it on down! Take it on down! Take it on down! Take it! Skips it to the right side. Lota puts up a three. McGrain gets the rebound. Under six minutes left in the second half. Lota gets the reach in call, and that's his first foul. If you're going to go for the steal like that, you've got to be careful with your hands. Hodge inbounds the ball. Dumps it off. Let's it go. Not the guy you want taking that shot, but it was hit by Hodge. They're dictating the tip. Loki from long range. Hodge rips it down. The Bears. Have got a nice lead. Last layup was dropped in by Thornton. The lay in with the soft kiss. Picked off by Mobley. The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Wow, this place is like a morgue, Vern. We've got to give these fans something to cheer about. That last three corner was missed by Montplacier. The Bears looking to extend their run. That last shot put by Mobley. Avalon inbounds the ball. Releases. The tray off the mark by Logi. About four and a half minutes left in the second half. The spin move. Mobley catches it. Top of the key. Skip pass. Perimeter. Goes up. Great finish in traffic. Coach Monroe saw something out there. He wants to make some adjustment. He burned his time out to get his players' attention. The Retrievers have got a lot of ground to make. Behind the arc. Wheeled in by Whitaker. They can't seem to put an end to this run. They need to get their offense going and so. Nice shot missed by Brock. 
Lota releases. Orfini grabs the offensive rebound. Misses, but he'll get two shots from the line. Nice effort to get the shot off, but the foul threw off his concentration just enough. Can't sink the first. He's off on the second. Davison was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. Brock inbounds the ball. The Bears with a comfortable lead for three. Air ball straight out of bounds by McGrain. Maryland, B.C. needs to cut down on the two of these bodies near their back. Their coaching love and told his coaches our fundamentals are abysmal. The only guys I want out on the floor right now are the ones taking care of the ball, and I don't care if none of them are starters. Thanks, Bonnie. Mobley shoots it, finishes the break. They're getting out. Just over three minutes left in the second half. Unloads. The three-pointer was missed by Avalon. The defense was up to the challenge on that shot. Good job closing on the shooter. Lota puts up a three. Grabs the rebound inside. Lota is in a pretty cold stretch right now, Vern. And there's a danger that it's going to start to rub off on the rest of the team. The Retrievers down big. Shoots. The long ball hit by Avalon. Nice range. If the D doesn't bring a little more pressure, he could heat up from out there. McGrain pulls up. Davison snatches it up. Lota. Gets it. Left wing. Takes the shot. The three-pointer was missed by Peters. 2.16 left in the game. Hamilton gets the reach-in call, and that's his first foul of the game. The Bears will make some mass substitutions here. Substitution on the court. Brock dumps it to the middle. The steal. Such great instincts. He knew exactly where the ball was going. The three-pointer was missed by Peters. The Bears remaining. should look to use some clock here. Out left. Hawk shoots the turnaround. Bounces off the left rim and out. That's a tough shot if he's wide open. But in traffic, you've got to play smarter than that. Montplacier hands it off. Dishes it to the perimeter. Orfini beats it to the outside. Let's it go. The three-pointer was missed by Loji. That's another rebound for a team that's doing a great job on the boards. They've got a big edge there today. Brock has it outside. That last triple off the mark. The D got away with one there. He had space to shoot, and he usually doesn't miss those. Bottoms, he went up, and he'll go to the line for a couple. Second team foul. Can't get the first. He misses them both. The Bears with a comfortable lead. Lead pass outside. Richard from long range. 
can't get it. Tipped away. Takes it up. It takes a bad bounce and goes out of bounds. The Bears are going to make some substitutions. One oh two left in the game. Green grabs the rebound. When a shot like that comes around, mm -hmm. you gotta hit it. they just dared him to shoot. Orfini inbounds the ball. Pulls the trigger. The three-pointer was no good by Peters. That's another rebound for a team that's doing a great job on the boards. They've got a big edge there today. My shot missed by Bronson. Richard, the bucket is good, that's and he'll have a chance for fun. one more. Oh, look at the physicality. Powered it through the contact and hit. He completes the three-point throw. I don't think they can come back. There's too far to climb in too short a time. Logan for three. It falls. Six seconds left in the game. Catches it outside. With the shot. It falls. That deserves a look on the Power Bar Triple Threat Replay. That's something else. Nope. Mon plus a year. Inbounds the ball. Logie from long range. Yes. That's how you answer. Give up the three and then get it right back. Richard passes to the right wing. The 18-footer was missed by McGrain. Peter dumps it off. There's the hole. The Bears blow out Maryland, B.C. 72-41. to Let's quickly go to Greg Gumbel in the studio with the Pontiac game-changing performance. Thanks, Vern, and welcome, everyone, to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel with today's Pontiac game-changing performance, a slam dunk that brings the crowd to its feet, always a fan favorite. The Morgan State Bears made spectacular plays like this one, the norm in their runaway victory. How impressive is that? Okay, thanks, Greg. I'm Vern Lundquist for Bonnie Bernstein and Bill Raftery. Glad you were with us for College Hoops. 2K7.